You celebrate your birthday by beating the number one seed, and then you earn your fourth career title by beating Maria Sharapova. Is this even legal? Well, you can have your cake and eat it too. We'll explain as the women get underway on the Olympus US Open Series. Let's go to semifinal Saturday in Stanford at the Bank of the West Classic, the oldest tournament on the WTA Tour. Nothing old about Victoria Azarenka. Celebrating her 21st birthday and looking to stay undefeated against top seeded Samantha Stoser. Stoser seems in a gift giving mood, struggling with her serve throughout, and Azarenka capitalizes. She plays a solid return game and wins 71% of the time on her first serve and takes the match 6 2 6 3. Stoser does not get to celebrate her career high number five ranking as Azarenka takes the cake and reaches her third final of the season. And she's also on a major roll, having won 10 of her last 12 matches. Who would try to crash her party in the final? Maria Sharapova, generally at the top of anyone's invitation list. But would the number five seed be ready after a nearly three hour quarterfinal win over number two, Elena Dementieva? Sharapova struggles early against the third seed, Agnieszka Ravanska, who takes six consecutive games to win the first set. Maria then settles down, gets the unforced errors under control, and takes the final three games in both the second and third sets to secure her spot in the final. She wins 1-6, 6-2, 6-2, and also enters Sunday's final on a roll, having won 17 of her last 20 matches. The final pitted Azarenka versus Sharapova for the fourth time. Maria holding the advantage 2-1, having won their last two meetings. But every contest had been hard fought. Azarenka, twice denied a title this year in Dubai and Eastbourne, had been returning well all week. And to prove her point, she won the coin toss, elected to receive, and promptly broke Sharapova in the opening game. Maria, holder of 22 career titles, has never been one to go away without a fight. She was able to exchange breaks with the Belarusian to even things at 3-all, eventually moving ahead 4-3. Then Azarenka took over, using a variety of ground strokes to inflict damage, snatching three straight games and taking the opening set 6-4 in 59 minutes. The second set would bear no resemblance to the first. Azarenka established momentum right from the outset, again breaking the former world number one in the first game and never looked back. Sharapova didn't help her cause any, committing 27 unforced errors in the match. But the Russian had a chance to even the set at two all, but squandered a pair of break points. Azarenka would hold serve and then dismantle Sharapova, winning the next 15 consecutive points to power past the three-time major champion and hoist the fourth title of her burgeoning career, all of them coming on hard courts. A day after her 21st birthday, Vika Azarenka gives herself a shiny new present, the trophy and mantle of champion of the Bank of the West Classic. In the doubles final, Lindsay Davenport returned to professional tennis and paired with fellow American Lisa Uber to beat Chan Young Zhan of Taiwan and Zhang Ji of China. It marks Davenport's first WTA victory since 2008. Now for a look at the women's standings in the Olympus US Open Series bonus challenge. Victoria Azarenka moves to the top of the leaderboard with 70 points. Sharapova occupies the second position and Radvanska and Stoser sit tied for third with 25 points. Up next, the women head down the Pacific Coast Highway for the Mercury Insurance Open just north of San Diego. You can watch the action on Tennis Channel and ESPN2. Check the TV schedule page right here on OlympusUSOpenSeries.com for days and times. I'm Kevin Skinner. Thank you for watching highlights of the 2010 Olympus US Open Series.